Hey John, what do we have going on here today? Today we're working on a format called 35 slash 32. And so essentially what it is, is two 16 millimeters printed on 35 millimeter stock. Oh, so the perfs, so I have 16 millimeter perfs on and 35 millimeter stock. stock. Right. All right, so are you able to transfer it and get a picture? Oh yeah, there you are. Yep, so this is just a test right now. So right here, is your extra two millimeters because it would normally be 32, two, three, four, five, three millimeters, and then you're gonna have your optical soundtrack here and your other optical soundtrack here. So, so one's so running forward right. and one's running backwards. Right. So they used to print from this. And this is also printed backwards. I think this is printed forward. So this is an internet. Yes. Show me it on the machine. So this is it running on the machine right now. So. So it's it's two 16 millimeter sprockets, sprock films essentially printed side by side on 35 millimeter film, and then they would print from this film stock, and then then they would slit it. Then well, would they would they print to 35 and then slit it? Uh, I think so. And the they print it has to be able to take off this. This dead zone in the middle here. They would print, be too wide they would print to a print stock, yeah. very similar gauge, right. with the appropriate number of uh, sprockets, and then they would slit it. This, this of course, has not been slit because it was the it was the element used to print to. Yeah. And uh, I guess it was. Well, that, that would be my guess. I guess the labs the felt like it was a way. That, so there's no soundtrack. And it's supposed to be more stable, from what I can gather. There's no soundtrack. Yeah, the soundtrack is a separate element. Well, when the heck does that happen? Oh, so they would have? Would they have laid a soundtrack down the middle of this thing? I don't know. I guess so. They would have had to have to make a print of it. Okay, so essentially you're making a and now the file structure. What? What? I see it looks a little wide there. So, what is the size of the file structure that you're creating here? Uh, well, right now I'm experimenting as wide as we can go is 4112, and I reduced it down to 1504 as I'm only interested in one picture at a time. Okay. So no sense in wasting so space. It's 2K, drive, so it's 2K 2K high and 4K wide. Yeah. I'm kind of considering that maybe I ought to just simply optically zoom it in and just do one picture yeah. at a time. Yeah. All right. But I'll have to see how the optics feel okay. about that. So. Well, it's pretty exciting. I don't think anybody has ever been able to do this before. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks, John. Okay.